Hi all and welcome to another week of the Truth, Honour and Integrity show. Tonight is April 13th and my name's Thomas Williams. Hi all and welcome to another week of the Truth, Honour and Integrity show. My name's Thomas Williams and uh, <laughs> another week of fun and games, unpleasant ones. Um, I think I'm going to do a few lighter uh, news pieces first before I, uh, so I can calm down a bit before I rage at certain officials in this country. Uh, I think we've all just about had enough of the fun and games. So I'm going to get into some lighter news first before I hit the double barrels. Right, for those of you uh, who are unaware of the show, this is the Truth, Honour and Integrity show. We have a Facebook page of the same name. We um, are available on the Spreaker if you want to listen live. And the archives are also available there. And also on the YouTube, the Tommy Williams channel. And uh, so that, that's for that. If you want to put questions in for the show and are not part of the Facebook page, you can go to truth.honor.and, and that's A N D, dot integrity at gmail.com. Truth.honor.and, dot integrity at gmail.com. We have a website for the People's Club uh, Foundation. It's called thepeoplesclub.org. And we also have now available an articles website. So for the people that don't like the Facebook page, it's called Think Different. Think being T-H-I, capital T-H-I, N-K. Think Different at uh, thinkdifferent.thepeoplesclub.org so you can go and check that out we're also working on a some sort of a forum where we may be at a later date uh, removing ourselves from the uh, porn and child uh, child porn uh, and criminality of the Facebook uh, realm right uh, I will be discussing some of um, last Sunday's show which was um, a bit difficult for some all about the Illuminati and how they train on some of the heinous practices they get up to uh, later in the show <sighs> breathe Thomas breathe ok we're going to go to Holland first and while this, this may not seem newsworthy when you un uh, see the hidden implications of it or understand the hidden implications of it then you realise why I put this in it's something we have to start looking for last week in Holland there was a a soccer match that had a, um, a fairly high bearing on the title race in Holland between PSV Eindhoven and FC Twente. Now, mid, mid, midway through the second half, riot police and dogs carried out a planned raid on the home supporters' end as part of a planned action allegedly against organised drug dealing. And this was while the game was in progress. Stadium announcements... Uh, then asked everyone to leave the stadium in an orderly fashion uh, but they said the match would continue chaos ensued and then a second announcement said that the, only the supporters in the home end had to leave which kind of negates the planned raid on the home supporters and the result of all this was that the home fans refused to move while most people decided to leave around 15 minutes before the end of the game. What the players made of it is not clear. I'm not too sure that they were made aware. The, uh, 
opposing uh, the away team FC20 knew nothing in advance about the raid and to carry it out on the terrorists terrorist, during the game seems a bit crazy in the, in the extreme but it's not really is it now drugs were found but then you could go to any sports stadium and find people with drugs you can go to a bar and find people with drugs it doesn't mean that you would have um, riot police and and tell people who have paid money for their tickets to leave a soccer game this is conditioning it's getting you used to the brown shirted cops yes they may wear navy in real terms they're all brown shirts and if you're not familiar with that look for the term Nazi condition you that wherever you go they have a right to just interrupt we need to watch for that here because it is coming Republic of Ireland next there's some statistics for you and it shows you an example of how the dwindling influence of the church is having and the number of people in the Republic of Ireland who is often um, split between Catholic and Protestant uh, who identified as having no religion has increased by 73.6% big leap that particularly in that country and this is according to the latest census figures uh, the number of people who stated they had no religion increased from 270,000 to 469,000 massive massive leap when you consider the population of the country is around four and a half million uh, if memory serves me correctly that's a big chunk some 3.7 million people um, identified themselves as Catholic which is 78.3% of the population this is compared to 84% so it's a drop of 6% uh, people who identified themselves as Catholics since April 2011 again that's a big drop so within 5 years they've dropped 6% now the number of people identified as members of the Church of Ireland also dropped by 2% to 126,400 and there were 63,400 Muslims in the states compared to 49,000 in 2011 a percentage change of 29% Orthodox Christianity saw a rise of 37.5% to 62,400 while the number of Hindus also rose 34% to 14,300 that's a big change in the demographic in uh, the Republic of Ireland hope they get on better this story will be familiar and I've included it uh, again um, not f because of who's involved but the implications of it there's been a lot of websites and legal people on the internet and alternative media pushing all kinds of this scheme and that scheme and some of them are valid there's no question of that but some people have been getting into serious trouble I remember, I'm trying to remember the guy's name who got uh, arrested last year while we were still on Cosmic Voice. And then, of course, we had the other people in Oregon. But a California couple this week accused of seeking millions in unwarranted tax refunds who believe in a complicated theory that Americans are the collateral backing U.S. currency and can pay debts through their secret accounts a 
federal jury heard Tuesday during opening statements in a tax fraud trial. Defendants Sean David Morton, yes that guy, the radio show host, and Melissa Morton are charged with conspiring to defraud the United States, filing false claims and passing fictitious financial instruments in a violation of federal laws. The charges stem from their participation in a so-called redemption scheme, which according to the government's trial brief is the most prevalent nationwide scheme used by tax defiers and sovereign citizens and has been used in some form since at least 1987. The pair, Sean David Morton and his wife, jumped on board with theories they were told about the US Department of Treasury money that was held in their name that cannot be accessed. This is the straw man accounts. The Mortons believed that in 1933 the United States went off the gold standard and at that time instead of backing the United States currency with gold it was backed by the US citizens. The US citizens became the collateral for our debts, the debts of the US government. And they were taught that if you knew the right steps, if you knew the right language, if you had the right instruments, if you had the right laws, you could use these sorts of secret accounts of collateral to pay off your debts to the public. Their belief in the theory was bolstered when other people they knew began to get refunds based on this 1099 OID process, the attorney said, eventually the couple began to help others prepare the bond and tax document. Sean David Morton and his wife Melissa both received 600 year jail sentences this week. This is where we have to be careful. Whilst a lot of that is true, what they were stating whilst we still have clans in place blocking everything and we don't have a platform for the people to bring forward the truth this is what happens and this is why we have to be careful in what we do I've been warned myself this week not to spout about the IRS anymore. So, until the public ourselves provide a safe platform for people to operate in truth, this is what we're going to face. We're going to get picked off, and we have been picked off, left, right and centre. Now, from what I gather, whether it's true or not, uh, Mr. Morton was not the most honest of people. And he also was involved in other schemes that um, kind of took a lot of money off a lot of people, ordinary people, not governments or IRS. So... If that is correct, then I have no sympathy. But these are some of the programs that have been pushed around the internet. Like I said, whilst they have validity, unless the whole public does it, or a huge percentage of the public does it, we'll just get picked off. So... 600 years uh, yeah. that, that, those type of sentences to me are um, show the ridiculousness of it how is he going to save 600 years what's he going to do go back to jail uh, when he, he, if he re reincarnates why did he give these stupid sentences breathe <laughs> Raytheon oh. Another one of the U.S. Inc. military designated money makers. And they are the company that makes the Tomahawk missiles used in the U.S. airstrike against Syria Air Base. 
And after the um, bombing, go figure, Raytheon's stock price rose in trading. And the Department of Defense has asked for $2 billion over five years extra to buy 4,000 more Tomahawks for the U.S. Navy in its fiscal 2017 budget. Two billion for more weapons to fire at non-existent targets or non-relevant ones. Raytheon, uh, you will be not surprised to know, is the sole supplier of that particular cruise missile, which comes with a high price tag. Todd Harrison, Director of the Defence Budget Analysis at the Centre for Strategic and International Studies, estimated the replacement cost of the Tomahawks used against Syria will be about $89 million. Defence and energy stocks moved higher last Friday, with Tomahawk missile maker Raytheon Corp a key gainer as investors seem to be betting that President Trump's decision may mean the Pentagon will need more tomahawks. (sighs) Top members of the House Judiciary Committee this week have asked the Trump administration to reveal how many Americans are affected by expiring foreign surveillance programs that gather massive amounts of personal data. In a letter to the the Director of National Intelligence, Dan Coates, the House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlatte, a Republican for Virginia, or Latte, whatever it is, criminal anyway, politician, and Ranking Member John Conyers, have called for an estimate on how many Americans are involved in surveillance operations that expire at the end of the year. The surveillance programs in question are vested in Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, FISA. It is clear that Section 702 surveillance programs can and do collect information about US persons on subjects unrelated to counter-terrorism and it is imperative that we understand the size of this impact on US people as our committee proceeds with the debate on reauthorization. The two people in question have requested an answer by April 24th and it's an estimated uh, 250 million internet connections were gathered under authority of the statutes as far back as 2011 can you imagine how many more there is now six years later but uh, give them uh, due that they have asked for that information whether that information will be forthcoming to the public to them or the public at this point is debatable a massive fraud and given what took place today Perhaps we now find out where that money went missing. Um, Millions of Canadian tax dollars go missing in Afghanistan. Much of this money has just completely vanished. Oh, figure. Is it 2001 again? Um, Now, the World Bank (laughs) is leading an investigation. Really? like the police investigating the police anyway the World Bank is leading the investigation maybe Karen Hudis will be uh, assisting with that given her connections into what has happened with this money recently Mr Trudeau increased the amount to 465 million in aid over three years for projects in Afghanistan I'd like to know what Mr Trudeau thinks are projects We'll have more about that later. According to the most recent figures from Global Affairs, Canada has dispersed about 2.57 billion in total aid, and much of this money has gone missing. 
taxpayers that the international community, including Canadian taxpayers, might have paid millions into funds, non-existent students, teachers and schools also adds to the complexity of reconstruction efforts. Indeed. Back to the White House. I'm getting close before I start losing it. Anyway. White House Budget Chief Mick Mulvaney this week has sent a memo to federal agencies instructing them to prepare for future cuts to funding and staff. The guidance letter Axios reported on Sunday was set forth by the executive order President Trump signed last month for reorganising the executive branch. The order calls to improve the efficiency, effectiveness and accountability of the executive branch by directing the Director of Office of Management and Budget to propose a plan to reorganise government fun- governmental functions and eliminate unnecessary agencies. Shall I say it? <laughs> yes, there's a lot of agencies we can get rid of and save money and give it back to the people. The federal agencies will likely plan to lay off staff, eliminate programs and sell real estate according to the report and some agencies could shut or consolidate. That could be interesting. Bank of England Rothschilds et al. has been implicated in the LIBOR rigging scandal. You remember that back in 2008. It's still going on. And a BBC investigation, which is interesting, and the London Interbank offered rate LIBOR is the interest rate at which banks lend between each other. It consequently then sets the benchmark for average clients' loans and mortgages. So if they set it higher with the loan in between them, that means our loans are higher. That's the way they work it. Even though we're only loaning our own money. That's the stupidity. Um, A recording uncovered by the BBC seems to show Britain's central bank bullying commercial institutions to push down their LIBOR interest rates throughout the 2008 financial crisis. The recording also raises doubts over evidence given in a 2012 Treasury Select Committee hearing by Bob Diamond, the one-time boss of Barclays, and Paul Tucker, who later became the Bank of England's Deputy Governor. And he went to say the bottom line is you're going to absolutely hate this, but we've had some very serious pressure from the UK government and the Bank of England about pushing our LIBOR rates lower. Senior Barclays manager Mark Dearlove is heard instructing LIBOR submitter Peter Johnson in the leaked recorded phone call. He went on, so I'll push them below a realistic level of where I think I can get money. Johnson replies, objecting to the rule-breaking move. The fact of the matter is, we've got the Bank of England, all sorts of people involved in the whole thing. I'm as reluctant as you are. These guys have just turned around and said, just do it. So that's the kind of threats the banks do. But it's nothing that we didn't know. But it seems now the... Bank of England is implicated. Could it be because they didn't sign up with the Douche Bank? Think about that. Where are we next? Oh dear me. There we go. MSNBC news anchor Brian Williams this week. Um, 
this is even hard to mention but it's indicative of the synthetics and clones and soulless entities that are operating on our so called televisions he described images of US Inc military airstrikes on Syria as beautiful not once but a number of times his joy at the sight of warfare has angered many online the news anchor described the airstrikes which killed at least six people as it was noted then it was a lot more actually as looking beautiful in the night sky maybe uh, someone should arrange um, handheld missile launcher at Mr Williams's house and see if he thinks it's beautiful then it's just uh, it beggars belief describing uh, people getting smashed and blown to smithereens as something of beauty but still people watch now a new name has popped up this week I'm only going to mention this brief it's, going to, uh, it's probably another pile of bullshittery and the latest name to crop up for terrorists is White Helmets really White Helmets more like purple hel helmets to me aka penises Enough of that. Here we go. In the land of the blind, the one eyed man in one eyed man is king. Mr Cyclops Trump. Um this week as uh, stated NATO is no longer obsolete reversing the stance that has his allies fairly alarmed really he has now called on NATO to do more to help Iraq and Afghan partners who are these, the, these partners Mr Trump has repeatedly questioned NATO's purpose while complaining that the US pays an unfair share of membership well we have a choice we can stop paying the charter with NATO runs out in May we can step out of it except not no more because Mr Trump has done a full U-turn on NATO He wasn't the only one. In an interview with the Wall Street Journal, he said he would not label China a currency manipulator, despite having repeatedly pledged to do so in his first day in office. Oops, number two. At a joint press conference with Mr. Stoltenberg, Trump said the Secretary General and I had a productive discussion about what more NATO can do in the fight against terrorism I complained about that a long time ago and they made a change and now they do fight terrorism which part what happens if they are the terrorists to Afghanistan to St. Petersburg to Iraq, to Syria NATO are the terrorists it's all about perception isn't it Cyclops Trump went on I said NATO was obsolete but now it's no longer obsolete Mr Trump also went on and said 
he no longer opposed to a federal export agency which he once dismissed as unnecessary number three you turn number four has rattled my cage as if the first three weren't enough the president signalled yesterday that he was open to reappointing Janet Yellen yes that one aka Obama handler as head of the wait for it the Federal Reserve same organisation Cyclops president decided he was going to remove his words not mine like I said in the land of the blind the one eyed man is king Mr Trump wears two hats he is also a two hat think about that on the one hat is his Nazi relations real name Drumpf D-R-U-M-P-H-P-F Drumpf a bit like Bush and Schiff false hidden names designed for the purpose his grandfather born in the kingdom of Bavaria yes same people the Sunday show came from his distant most distant relative also kingdom of Bavaria and was around in 1776 Adam Weishoff and all that go and say to yourself see a pattern like I said he has two hats the other hat is APAC Zionists of course Nazi and Zionists were one that's where the term comes from NA nationalism aka fascism or patriotism same thing love of country over love of the people saluting to flags and, and military who are doing heinous acts Q1940 Q current day nothing's changed different country same program so NA is nationalism ZI Zionism aka Nazi that's where the term comes from and Trump like I said wears two hats one in each camp to me he is a two hat as in twat and I'll say that quite clearly fooling the people no wonder he called him Trump they've played the Trump card on the people US strike on uh, the airbase allegedly killed 14 people including 9 innocent civilians this came from the governor of Homs in Syria speaking to RT Arabic Talal al Barazi said the majority of victims in the missile strike carried out by the United States on Friday morning had been local villages. Undoubtedly, the American attack on the 
Air Force Base was aimed at supporting terrorist groups and weakening the fight, uh, fighting capacity of the Army of the Syrian Army, which is actually fighting the terrorists. According to recent reports, the attack resulted in the deaths of five soldiers and nine civilians and the wounding of 13 women and children who were in the nearby Shayrat village. This aggression towards Syria is not the first and unlikely to be the last. Syria's official SANA news agency earlier said on Friday reported that an American missile also hit the village of Al Hamrat which killed four civilians including a child. Another seven civilians were wounded when missiles hit homes in Al Manzul four kilometres away from the air base. Air strike number two in Syria. Allegedly fighting the Islamic State. Also that's changed again. Back to is. Um, that killed 18 fighters who are allegedly allied with the United States so they killed their own allies so the strike on Tuesday was the third in a month that American led airstrikes have killed civilians or allies doesn't sound like they're going after ISIS to me does it And this comes even as the Pentagon is investigating two previous airstrikes that killed or wounded scores of civilians in a mosque complex in Syria and a building in the west of Mosul, Iraq. Why are these people allowed anywhere near anybody with this level of incompetency? The fighters themselves, which is Assad's people, had called in the airstrikes and identified the target lo location as an ISIS fighting position, it said, using another name for the Islamic State. No sister trying to confuse you with all the different names. The central command statement said that the target location turned out to be a fighting position for the Syrian democratic forces who have been fighting ISIS all along. Now you know who they're really taking out. Are they really that stupid or that incompetent or is that right in your face what they're up to? As of yet, I haven't heard I could be proved wrong. I would like to be proved wrong. I haven't heard of a single ISIS person killed. Allies and civilians, women and children. Well, it's okay because Raytheon's stock went up, didn't it? And it's okay because then they can put in the Pentagon can put in for an extra 400 million for more missiles to kill people who have done nothing to them anyway. Has anyone really stopped to think why are we attacking Syria? It may seem a stupid question but you'll be surprised how many haven't. Of Syria bombed America. Of North Korea bombed America. Because they're next. Make no mistake, they've already sent warships and battleships. They're going to launch a strike on North Korea. 
But whilst we lap up the media news that Syrians are a problem, or Iraqis are a problem, or Iranians are a problem, North Korea is a problem, but none of them have attacked America. Did Vietnam attack America in the 60s? Did Cuba attack America? Did Guatemala, Grenada? Why are we attacking countries that have done no harm to us? Eighty-one countries invaded since the Second World War and not one of them has attacked America or its people not one but we'll go on blaming boogeymen you were 8,000 miles away be it Russia blame Russia for everything blame China blame Muslims But Russia and China haven't attacked America either, have they? All the bogus Cold War. When it's now being proven by their own documents that the CIA, MI6, Britain, KGB, Russia, oops, Mossad, Israel, all work together and have done since the Second World War. Who's fooling who here? Mr. Assad said something I'd said in the show last week that the Syrian government had given up its arsenal of chemical weapons in 2013 which was confirmed by Mr. Longface John Kerry He went on, even if we had them, we wouldn't use them. However, the US, and wait for it, the World Health Organization, who are they? Exactly. Who? Why aren't they solving the deaths of all the children via vaccines and disease now they're on an authority on chemical weapons is it world health organization or world hitler organization Um, The World Health Organization um, and the US said chemical weapons inspectors have all cast doubt on Russia and Syria's claims. Like the USA Inc. military and the World Health Organization is an authority on anything but bullshittery and we should always believe them, shouldn't we? Mr. Assad also said he would only allow what he called an impartial investigation into the events at Khan Sheikhoun to ensure it would not be used for politicised purposes. You're wasting your time, Mr. Assad. Like Mr. Hussein of Iraq was wasting his time when he had weapons inspectors in. What did he do? They found none, because there was none. What did he do then? They told Blair and idiot Bush there's no weapons. So they killed him. So you're wasting your time asking for impartial weapons inspectors. They'll have to make stuff up 
or they'll tell the truth and they will be killed. The guy in the UK. Suicide. My ass. So Syria, Russia, which is Syria's key ally, has angered the USA a Inc. military, the UK and France on Wednesday by vetoing a UN draft resolution that would have required Mr. Assad's government to cooperate with an investigation into the attack. I wouldn't allow those countries to investigate anything. It's their complicit. And if you think all that wasn't enough, our cyclopic president of USA Inc. decides today to drop what the media called the mother of all bombs. with an explosive force equal to 11 tonnes of TNT on an alleged cave complex used by Afghan branch of, wait for it, Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, which equals ISIS. There's a new terminology for is, isl, ISIS, and also, they miss out Israel. The bomb is officially called a GBU 43. You know what that really means? They're taking the piss again on the people. George Bush, 43rd president. GBU 43. It's right in your face. The bomb weighs more than 21,000 pounds. The weapon is the largest non-nuclear bomb ever used in combat. Cyclops said, called the mission another very, very successful mission. Asked if he personally authorised the strike Mr. Trump said, everybody knows exactly what happened. Nice convincing answer there from your president. He went on and stated, what I do is I authorise my military. We have the greatest military in the world, TM really and they have done their job as usual they sure have Mr Trump so we have given them total authorization and that's what they're doing carte blanche to bomb people and countries into oblivion it seems A slight recap before we go into a music break. In October 2001, USA Inc. military began bombing Afghanistan. And it was alleged they were targeting bin Laden's Al-Qaeda fighters and also the Taliban. By November 2001, the Northern Alliance, as it was called, took control of the Afghan capital, Kabul. 
and were being helped by the US and other countries that agreed with it, including the UK. The Taliban were quickly driven out of the capital city, Kabul, November 2001. 16 years ago. Bear that in mind. In 2003, Idiot Bush tells the amnesiacs, Mission accomplished, war over. Remember that? That's 14 years ago. For those of you not good at math. Now, in 2011, which is 10 years after the war, in Afghanistan, uh, in Afghanistan began they decided they had actually found Osama bin Laden even though he, di- he died in December 2001 and they decided to kill him didn't produce evidence my, uh, mind you they just dumped them into the ocean. Now, Mr. Bin Laden, was he in Afghanistan? No. He was found in Pakistan. Why haven't we invaded Pakistan? Think about that. Why haven't we? If the leader of the Taliban and the destroyer of the towers is in Pakistan, then all his followers must be there. So why haven't we invaded Pakistan? But we didn't, did we? Now, Bin Laden's dead. Been dead six years. It's now 14 years since Idiot Bush says the war is over. It is 16 years since the Northern Alliance took over the capital city of Kabul. Why have we still got 8,500 troops there? What exactly are they doing? Are they going into these alleged caves to hunt out the Taliban? Or ISIS? Or Al-Qaeda? Or IS? Or ISIL? Or purple helmets? Why haven't they gone into the caves and got rid of them? Why have we got to drop a £21,000 weapon costing another £315 of the people's money? The mother of all bombs. Never mind the damage it's done. 16 years after Afghanistan capital was secured 6 years after allegedly their words not mine but it's bullshittery anyway Bin Laden's been dead and we still got 8,500 troops 13, 14 years after idiot says the war's over we're dropping 21,000 pound bombs at a cost of 315 million and countless lives and the people in this country think that's okay well do you who is the problem to the people 
You are the problem, is my answer. Hi all and welcome back. What is the truth now? Well, the truth was there all along, right in our face. I tried to call it out, going back 18 months ago, I warned of Trump. Got a lot of flack for it, and that's okay. Because, for too long, all of us, myself included, have fell for the illusion that something different is something better. But it really is, is it? We're less than three months into Cyclops' reign. And people have forgotten Obama already. Of course, he promised change. Well, we got change, all right. Not change for the people. Change for them. Double the national debt. Reduction in jobs. Reduction in hours. Reduction in pay. Increase in living costs increase in prison incarceration where they make money increase in foreclosures that's change like I said it's not our change is it I said we'd have to remove all the House and all the Senate. You can't do that. Why can't we? They're not fit for purpose. One member this morning passed a comment Where's Congress? Where have they ever been? All these countries invaded. How many of Congress passed? The answer is probably none. Which is going against the alleged constitution we're supposed to have. So why do we need a congress? Why do we need a republican? Why do we need a democrat? Why don't we just have an American person doing the job they're supposed to do which is look after the country and its people complete asshats spending all kinds of thousands for banquets to watch basically global assassins be inserted into the White House Well, it's not as bad as the last one. Yes, it is. You're just covering it up with the illusion again. It's all an illusion. Not one American. Listen to this show. All alive, unless you've had the Kool-Aid. Has had an actual, an American president a country president not one 146 years since that took place but Trump will be different why why is he why was he going to be different because he promised you things well, Obama promised things. Did he deliver? No. I 
and like I've said Trump could be good he could be bad or he could be indifferent it doesn't make a blind bit of difference when you have 39 levels of secrecy pulling the strings they're the people that have to go the shadow government the dark state the clowns with badges on their shoulders you know thinking uh, they're honourable medals because they've killed someone let's get it right I don't care who's got medals for wars it's medals for killing people they're not badges of honour we're not defending freedoms here because nobody's attacked us Black people to attack us was in the 1800s and that was phony as well but we have to tolerate sending our sons and daughters into harm's way to get drugged poisoned, mind controlled into thinking it's fun to kill other people forgetting the fact that those people have done nothing to you to begin with just because the news tells you that these people are bad doesn't make them bad if you've met a Muslim and they weren't particularly nice to you that particular Muslim is not a nice person that doesn't mean to say all Muslims are jihadists that are coming, coming to America to bomb us into oblivion them refugees they're all jihadists well if you were the refugee if some country let's just say Britain decides to bomb New York, Washington and Pennsylvania tomorrow 21,000 pound bombs and smashed the three states into oblivion would you not become a jihadist on Britain this is where we have to think and act different yes the programming runs deep here you must honour the military you must pray to the flag which is not even our flag we have to step outside of it the only people the only thing that you each and every one American listening to this have to honour is their fellow man, woman and child not flags or countries those don't matter they're illusions part of the game what does matter is the people change the name of the country all you like In most of our time there used to be a West and East Germany they changed the name to Germany did it make a difference we have to get away from the mind control here and the programming that our military is doing anything for the people's benefit clearly the events of the last week are proven beyond all doubt they're not interested in the danger they've put the American people 
because the danger we're in now is all out war that's the danger we're in now because these clowns won't won't stop unless certain people with balls not badges a set of balls stand up and do something for the benefit of the people it's, it's way beyond time promises have come and gone dates have come and gone events come and gone we the people are sick of waiting while you sit there with your bunch of dinars or your fancy stocks in Raytheon or Halliburton bullying thing is now John McCain went to Syria America bombed him John Kerry went to Antarctica there was weapons fired there Rex Tillerson's in Russia at the moment oops is that the next because unless the people turn on their own military and remind them of their honour of duty to we the people this is what we're going to face I'd like to tell you different Trump had a platform he chose to step off it so here's a bit of intel there's not much but there's uh, enough going on without it Trump has blackmailed a few probably uh, a week ago now by the Rothschilds this is the danger when you have people with skeletons in the closet we all have them just that some are a bit more dangerous than others and Mr Trump was vulnerable So right before China came on Tuesday or Wednesday of last week Mr Trump was blackmailed What he's been blackmailed remains to be seen I have a feeling it may involve Epstein and Ireland's There's likely others you wonder why Mr Trump hasn't gone after Hillary Clinton like he promised not a single arrest of one of the top clans has been made we're now three months in Squiddle Chops McCain is still running around the country like some ancient god telling people what to do that treasonous little tramp shouldn't have even been allowed on our soil again we had idiot Bush dodged the draft Mr Trump dodged it four times Sound familiar? Like the song Black Sabbath. Politicians hide themselves away, they only started the war. Why should they go out to fight? They leave that all to the poor. So you've got cowards. Well, let's call it right shitbags 
who won't fight themselves telling other parents that their sons and daughters have got to go in harm's way and we think that's right Americans think it's an honour for their child to be in the military no it's a death sentence let's get it right a total death sentence and even if they don't die they're going to be drugged up to the eyeballs mind controlled bullied raped you name it and then they're left on the street homeless for fighting for the country but we tolerate that because we've allowed it it's not happening to to me or my kids so let's ignore it that has to stop just because it's not your children doesn't mean to say you have to ignore it that thinking has to stop now on Tuesday the clowns launched a satellite laser system which is um, part of the financial system funding games or to attack it and it was designed to steal any funds coming out of the new financial system that's set up and rolling within four hours that satellite was deemed not operable oops shot down failed again cabal Now what follows on it is their whole financial operating system was corrupted and as of Tuesday they were scrambling to find any system that will get them back online. Also on Tuesday the people behind the new financial system and some of these are the, some of these people are the ones that are supporters of this show were involved in a gun battle they're trying to shoot them to take them out thankfully that was also prevented further hacking attempts were done via HSBC in Hong Kong like an Asian faction and also from Sweden which is likely NATO Nazi related so the fun and games continues now I want to touch a bit on last Sunday's show I want to give a kudos to the listeners for Sunday's show because that wasn't an easy show to listen to painful torturous harrowing triggering in some accounts and I feel that that particular show could not have been done 12 months ago maybe even 6 months ago it would have been too much for too many but kudos for the those that listen and have done the work the inner work unless you've done some the idea of listening to Sunday's show is too much but this is part of the work this radio show and page has done is getting people to deal with the inner traumas to deal with their shadow sides what don't they like about themselves 
and why and empty as much as the, their own baggage they're carrying bear in mind but also carrying the baggage for the sleepers the sin eaters absorbing the sins of others because the others can't see what's going on but the more you clear the better chance you have going forward I warned it would escalate I warned it would ramp up I warned it would get bumpy we're now in the bumpy period and anything is possible currently could we have a good outcome yes we could could we have the most disastrous outcome yes we could I'm not going to lie to you we're under great th threat because the psychopaths in real terms are losing they're not getting the leverage they wanted so kudos to all the listeners I understand if one or two found it too much don't feel bad about yourself it's only natural but look at why did it personally affect you do you know someone that was involved in that suffered that always look at things as to why you don't like certain aspects of the truth because it helps you going forward ignoring it is not the answer that's where you end up with the alters that we discussed in the show trauma event creates alters an alter of you so if a certain event comes out that particular alter comes out not the real you this is why you have to do the inner work clear your trauma out it could be you had a real traumatic upbringing suffered sexual abuse by parents or family you have to let it go you're not going to be able to forget you can't that type of violation but you have to forgive yourself and them and, and try and let it go so that if it, somebody else mentions it you're not then transporting yourself back in time and pulling out the altar that absorbed that trauma because you may not get the altar back in the vessel it may stick this is the danger so suddenly you feel you're not yourself no because the altar is out and operating on your behalf this is how multiple personality disorder works <coughs> so it was a difficult subject and harrowing and a stark reality of the os operational aspects of being Illuminati but some of us think maybe all of us think at times that the Illuminati are, have a very glamorous and privileged life they've got all the money they've got all the businesses the cars and the fancy toys but would you want to go through what they've gone through to obtain that tortured, abused, drowned sexual favours all before the age of four is that a price you would consider paying for fame and wealth and alleged glory it's not something I would tolerate now 
trying to attempt to get into the mindset of why they feel they, the Illuminati feel they have to go to those lengths is beyond my comprehension and most others but what it does show is the steely determination to achieve at all costs and this is why we struggle because we don't apply the same steely determination to end the slavery or the poverty or the crime we choose and have chosen to ignore it you have to fight fire with fire this planet is in a desperate situation there's no getting away from it I could be a lot of figures bundles of even since last Sunday's show a hundred and eight thousand children have died through malnutrition twenty seven thousand children per day that's the current rate and given 500,000 children go missing permanently in America each year since Sunday's show 5,400 children have gone missing as well just since last Sunday's show 108,000 died of malnutrition and 5,400 American children have gone missing permanently to be used for various heinous practices and never to be seen again the only way is we have to match them with the same determination they have to control us is we have to show the same determination to end their control over us can't just turn up every Thursday and go oh my god that's terrible and wait for the next oh my god it's terrible the following Thursday that's not going to end it Because by next Thursday, those figures will have gone to 175,000 died of malnutrition and 9,800 American children will have gone missing by the next Thursday show. has to in essence consume your attention and it should consume our attention with what's going on we should have more of a will and a desire to stop what they're doing to us why should we put up with this insanity Now some of the questions that came up I'm going to address and they weren't put on the questions page but I did pick them up and the question was what really concerns me is how do you know when these people are truly healed and it's a good question because in essence you don't you can't just get a camera out and say 
Oh I can't see any altars today It's only when there's a trigger And that altar Doesn't appear Do you realise that you've dealt with that particular issue So unless you're going to trigger that person And a good Therapist Preferably someone who's been through it Because the idea of an ordinary therapist Off the street dealing with this Who doesn't even know it exists to begin with Trying to fix somebody Is um, quite frankly ridiculous This is beyond The average Therapist you've got to understand what took place and most people don't understand or believe what took place or is taking place so like a Reikian therapist will get you to get angry at the situation and keep repeating it to pull it out in essence these people will have to be triggered to see if the altar comes back out if the altar doesn't appear then that aspect of it is dealt with the unprogramming has taken place uh, second question what if a killer altar is missed could it be quite dangerous all altars are dangerous but none of them are really you It's a created aspect of you that they want to break you. Yes, some altars are assassins. They'll go and kill people, which the normal host wouldn't dream of doing ever. So again, you would, a really advanced therapist would have to somehow trigger that to see if it appears. Risk a risky chance. Oh, well, the next one was the suicide program is a very difficult one, and one would need to be an expert to get them safely through it. Absolutely. What if the altar, the killer altar, is also the suicide program? Does it necessarily mean they're going to go out and kill somebody else? They may have a program in them, or an altar installed, where if they start talking about certain subjects and revealing things, the killer altar comes out and kills the host. Again, that's very difficult to eradicate. Duncan O'Finian has been through the program. He'll tell you itself. You can't get rid of it, all of it. You just can't. Depends on how many fractures they've put in how many of the altars have they created so it's a case of managing the situation and a lot of love and care and treatment is required but then there might be an altar that the host likes it might be more extrovert when they're introvert the mind plays tricks so it, it's not an easy subject 
to to talk about. It's not an easy subject to deal with, and it's an quite frankly an awful experience for the person who's gone through it. I said that on the Sunday show. I was aware of one particular program as I spoke to one of the program members repeatedly drowned to death at age four and then brought back to life and because that particular person wouldn't bow to their wishes they were drowned to death again and again and again four years of age so when I say we have to make it part of our life this is why you can't just ignore it from one show to the next We have to fight back and stop it. By the law of averages, one day it will be your children or your grandchild. With 500,000 going missing every year, it's not beyond the realms, is it? Now the other thing that was brought up is the colour programme and in particular the blue programme was mentioned in the show and this was referenced also to the exposure I did on Corey Good and his blue avians this is their classic programming Good himself stated he'd been in the programmes. And the blue colour is one of the classic programming. And so what they do is they create some backdoor altars in the vessel in case they remember some of what took place. Some of the torture and some of the abuse in the programme and the blue programme is an illusion of reality and also a saviour programme I'd said this 18 months ago it didn't win me many friends at the time but there it is in that book that was read out Project Bluebird was before MK Ultra. Bluebird, Blue Avian, Project Blue Beam. The list goes on. What I'd like to ask. show if no that's fine also we all learn at different ways different pace but perhaps having listened to the show last Sunday and got over the heinousness of it and the depth of it and the lengths that they will go Perhaps people maybe now understand when I stated recently that they are victims as well. Some people didn't like hearing that. And you may still, you're quite free to think the same thing. No, they're just bastards and they should be killed, shot, tortured, hung, whatever. That's fine. That's your choice. 
But I've no doubt some of you will have gained a different perspective on it. Like I said earlier, would you, like your children, tortured for the sake of wealth and fame, would you do it? And this is kind of why I made a play devil's advocate the other week, which again got me a little bit of flack. But I thought, you know, I will say it and call it as it is. I made the Guardian comment for the knowledge of keep them alive and allow them to play a, lo- a role in delivering the hidden knowledge that they have. It's the program that's the problem, not always the ones that are in it. Like the president, he or may or may not be the problem. It's the program that's the real problem. That has to end. Otherwise, you could have Jesus Christ, second coming, in the White House. And it won't make a blind bit of difference. So given a lot of these, all of these people as children, it's not their fault. They were born into hideous, psychopathic families. I know some of the younger ones want to help. Would it not be better now that you know what they've gone through allowing them to deliver the hidden knowledge to the people? Again, if you don't think that's a good idea that's fine. What I'm trying to do is get people to think on it. Look at it from all angles. Don't just follow the one narrative that's how we've been duped time and time and time again because we haven't seen the small font the sleight of hand these people have been lied to and abused as much as we have do I have full sympathy for them no because when they got to adults they had a choice yes their life would have been threatened it's still a coward's way out and they could have saved the lives of millions Well, their goal is to break the human into more and more fractions of themselves. This is micro to the macro. This has been going on thousands of years. Where they have broken the original human into more and more fractions of itself so we forget who and what we are all for control these people who can, anyone who controls anyone doesn't matter who you are are cowards only cowards need to control the people or other beings for that matter Draco for all their brute and force and might and fancy titles the cowards because they're frightened of the power 
of the full and unhindered human. So, I, like I said, I warned of Trump 18 months ago. I had hopes over the last six, seven weeks that things may change. Fool on me. I should have stuck to me guns. But things are flexible. They always are. he has a long way to go to gain any trust in this particular show host until I see him dragging the entity known as Hitlery or the McCains or the clowns with badges and shutting them down Mr. Trump will always be one of them and for those who are supporters of Trump if you, if, you, if you haven't changed your opinion after this week I'm sorry you're just going to continue to be fooled again and again and again and again like the song says we won't be fooled again but the American people have do you think Trump is the problem was Obama the problem Republican Democrat the problem liberal left right conservative is that the problem? Sharia law? Is that the problem? Refugees? Or ISIS? Al Qaeda? Taliban? Mexicans? Drugs? Russia? People on benefits? They're all a problem, aren't they? No. The sleight of hand and the programmers are the problem. The shadow government and the factions in control. We're going to have a music break. And until the people on mass learn to stand up and say, we're not putting up with it. I'm afraid this song is fitting. We'll be living on a prayer. John Lennon there, imagine, former CIA agent. Yes, he was. Who talked too much about peace and paid the price. This is why I talk of platforms. For the very few who devote all their time, or most of their time, we really need to start providing safe platforms for them people to operate and come forward I've said this all along are there good people in the government yeah can they operate without a safe platform without uh, worrying they're going to get a bullet in the back of the head I noticed a New York judge today was floating down the river said too much didn't play by their rules and this is what happens 
too many Americans are waiting for the military to come and save them. It's clear they're not interested in saving us. Said it all along. They were going to save us, they would have saved the people in 1963. And they ignored the death of JFK. If they're going to save us, they would have stepped in and stopped Vietnam. They didn't. And then we had an actual attack on our country in 2001, when it became very clear to anyone with an ounce of common sense it couldn't have been done without perpetrators inside our own country in high positions and the military sat back again now they've been shown evidence of all the fraud and corruption by certain groups and factions they've been shown clean abundant funding That can improve the lives of every American. And what have they done? Took it up the shitter from the Rothschilds. Because they've got a fistful of dinars. And still the people wait. Drake. tried his damnest to get militia organised and still we wait I spoke to one militia recently he said they're in training what for five years um Many of you will say, well, what can we do? I don't want to hear what we can do. And wait for me to give you answers. I want millions of answers from everybody. Because that means then they've thought about it. I'm not here to play guru and say you should do this and you should do that. That's me imposing on your free will. What I'm looking for is millions of leaders. Not all fighting to be better than the other. To all fight on the same level for the same cause. Which is a chance to live free in peace with abundance of basic needs and no fear why isn't everybody fighting for that mind boggling to me consumes me 24-7 my life, I in essence have no life. I don't mind doing that if I feel I've got the support and I'm perhaps teaching others to do the same thing because it's only that is what will end what is currently going on. Preferably non-compliance in a non-violent way. There's millions of, hundreds of examples whether you're of how to 
impinge on their system. Whether you're male, female, black, white, Hispanic, gay, straight, old, young, disabled or not. There's always something each and every person to, can do to fight for the right to be free. The fact that you have to appeal for it is sick in its own way. Everyone that listens to this show knows this planet is a total shit show. Most who listen to this show have food on the table, have roofs over their head. There's billions around the world who don't even have that. Are we just supposed to forget them because it's not happening to us? Well, it is. Slowly but surely, America has been stripped right in front of our faces. Okay, to spend 315 million today to drop a bomb in the middle of Afghanistan on a war that was supposed to be over, according to Idiot Bush, 14 years ago. Heaven forbid they spend 350 million on the people. No, you're going to get cuts. And more cuts. And Well, you've been having cuts for the last 30 years. You just not noticed it. Just tolerated it. Well, that's just the way it is. No, it's not the way it is. Not if we decide we're not putting up with it. You could wait forever for ETs, no matter which group it is. Where are they? I know they've helped to a point. But where's the the on-the-ground evidence? Some are coming in biospheres to take us to 5D. Yeah, right. These same people couldn't, who sent their brightest warriors, light warriors, in the past to teach humanity how to get out of this system, sat by and watched the entity known as Jesus, hung on a cross. Because it's not right to interfere. Really. Says who? The Draco. And this type of shenanigans and sleight of hand And bogus presidents will continue until we decide we have had enough. I'm thinking about it every Thursday night for this show or other people's shows. It's not enough. When the Illuminati spend 24-7 practicing how they retain control, we have to match it. Or we have to get sufficient numbers with the same will and desire to match it, to end it. A sobering thought doesn't mean to say it's not also a positive one where 
for the individual. He says, you know what? Thomas is right. This is my line in the sand. I'm going to turn to A, B, C, D, E and F. Come up with things that can be done, that I can do. That then changes the landscape. Something to ponder. Right, where are we going now? Um, some questions, I think. We'll try and see how far we get into them. Are you familiar with the concept of the four hour work day and if so do you think it would be a good way to transition to a more fair and just economic system? Um, the way things are going, I hate to be uh, more pessimistic, but if we're not careful, it will be a four hour week. The robots are taking over. Walmart's just dis ditched uh, thousands of more, more jobs. All the retail are all collapsing. If Walmart's not surviving too well, what does that say for the rest of them? Well, the reality is they'll all collapse. On the current course, we can all ignore it and say, no, no, no. But it's happening right in front of us again. Um, we just put it to one side because I'm not really comfortable with that. But I'll be alright in my job. None of us are going to be alright in any jobs, the way it's carrying on. With them out of funds and their desire to spend more and more on weaponry seems to have be unlimited money to be made available for we weaponry but anything that's going to do for the people no we haven't got any and the people just go oh well forgetting that that's their money that's just been spent Did you sanction 315 million of our money today to go and bomb somewhere in the middle of Afghanistan? But you'll still have people tomorrow coming out and supporting Trump because they won't admit they've made a mistake. We all make mistakes in life, none more than myself. But how you react to them, that counts. You can continue to live the lie because it's more convenient, or face the truth. The idea and the concept behind the four hour workday is correct and it's the way to go. I've always said, who told us we had to work? Uh, as a family two 40 hour a week jobs just to exist who came up with that concept 30, 40 years ago one parent worked 35, 40 hours and it sustained a family of 4 or 5 now you've got two parents working 80 hours and more and just existing. Why are we tolerating that? Uh, why can't the Rothschilds just be taken out, removed, arrested? Because they're being supported by USA Inc. military. Is why. For this country anyway. 
why aren't they being taken out in other countries remains to be seen is it possible that the star sign astrology a person has in combination with a Chinese star sign could it be an indication for the type of alien a person is no where did Sekhmet and her race originate from um, they were the cat beings that thought they were gods and they are the possible source of the sphinx Is Boris Johnson trying to start World War Three? Probably. Another one who looks like Trump, white hair, overweight, alien race. Whether Boris Johnson uh, is capable of doing anything, um, I'm not too sure he's capable. He's certainly not capable of brushing his own hair judging by some of the photographs of him um, and quite why he's in a position um, of any authority is, is way beyond my understanding um, he might be a good source of amusement in the UK but he's laughing at us and you whether it's Boris Johnson or the Cyclops resident we've got here that's what the plan is and we will do our utmost to try and stop it but we do need more help so if after the 21 days does the threat of 1st of June lose all its air this is the 21 days file that we mentioned last week no it doesn't because they're going to uh, ramp it up and as you can see this week warned of it last week they've ramped it up um is John Titor time travel story a psyop I don't know too much about it. I remember reading it a long time ago but the details um, I didn't retain so to me that means I didn't need to whether it may be correct or maybe not be but um, it didn't stick for me the Baphomet as a two gendered demon that the elite politicians entertainers and sports figures worship is changing your gender equivalent to human sacrifice nope it's not uh, the Baphomet is uh, you know people have seen it with Madonna and then Katy Perry uh, took over the Baphomet role and this is the Moloch sacrifice to the ancient gods again You know, um, which God wants you to kill somebody else to gain favour with them? And should we be worshipping those people or beings or entities? <coughs> Same applies in the Vatican, whether you like it or not. You're praying to a rogue ET entity told you before type in papal throne the entity has a, has a tail can you now that the kingdom of manor have gone public with their facebook page and websites what can we expect going forward i can't discuss too much on that because things are rather hairy with that group they're being shot at so it's best not to explain too much on that um, can you explain hyperborea is it part of our hidden history yes it is part um, I, I don't have too many details except it was a place uh, frequently visited by uh, one of the Greek gods Apollo and it was uh, Northern Europe as I understood it and whether that's one of the cloaked floating cities remains to be seen uh, 
Uh, how soon after politician walks into office do the psychopaths remove and replace them in a synthetic or clone or something else? Maybe the ones walking in with that to begin with. That's why um, when you consider the left, the the depths and lengths that the Illuminati go to train those people into the control. You think other aspects of their planning is not way ahead of us. So, is Trump Trump? Is any politician a real human soul? Do they act like humans? I'd like to think not. And when all the professions that were mentioned in the uh, Sunday show, you'll see how far that their control goes. Doctors, nurses, psychotherapy, cops, judges, lawyers, politicians, state councils. goes way deeper than people realise and this is why I keep saying you have to have a platform you have to strip out all the incumbents all of them none of them have been fit for purpose none of them have shown any proof to me that they are prepared to do anything to remove the other elements so we have to remove them all bring in ordinary people which is what it's supposed to be anyway it's not supposed to be some sort of glamour role this is the media that they've turned politicians into like superstars they're just doing their job the same as everybody else. Millions wasted with multi-car, multi-truck, multi-van, multi-helicopter security, whatever they got. Like they're more important than you or I. Again, why, why are we tolerating that? When was the last time a member of the public, general member of the public, took one of them out? It's one of their own agencies. Madness. Thomas, would you say the collective energies for this month are anger and fire? No. Apathy and stupidity. Uh, is the truth of the story that Trump has taken land from Texas through New Mexico by eminent domain for the wall and that China will be an investment partner with Trump for that land to put up casinos and brothels to draw business away from Las Vegas? Supposedly to be called the Montezuma Strip. Um, I haven't heard that story. It's been a busy week, so I haven't kept up with too much of the different news items. And uh, I wouldn't rule it out. Again, people will remember me saying, we don't want presidents, real presidents, who come from a commerce or a militaristic background. Because this is what you're going to get. Trump is businessman all about making money and when he loses it he files chapter 11 writes off all his debts and starts again six times you know the, the stupidity in that alone I pointed this out 18 months ago I thought he'd been bankrupt four times 
No, it's six. And we're asking a person who's been bankrupt six times to take over a bankrupt country and operate it. He couldn't operate his own business. It failed six times. And who bailed him out? Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Chase, Goldman Sachs. And we have people in this country thinking he's different in inverted commas. And this is the real reason behind the pipelines and massive deportation efforts of late and the new businesses in Mexico will need employees. Uh, Mexico is uh, under, currently undergoing a massive building program and it's actually um, better for Mexican people at this time to work and live in Mexico than it is America. That's how far this country's gone down. Even the Mexicans are going home. You know, Mexico, third world country, now think it's better to go back home and work and live there. There's your answer. Will the to total technological control grid of 5G and IoT be allowed to continue rapidly rolling out so it can hook every single material thing on the planet, including humans themselves, onto a vast planet-wide web where everything and everyone becomes nodes on the network, connected by microchips which are nano-sized and can be inhaled, like smart dust? Um... Whilst we choose to ignore it, yes, it will be rolled out. More will face the prospects of becoming biorobotic. We have warned of it. The show has warned of it repeatedly about technology. If you stop buying their technology, then they have a problem. Keep your phones as long as possible. As long as it dials. That's all that matters. Said last week, if you're doing banking on a mobile phone, you really need to think again. You're just asking to be robbed. Yes, it may be convenient, but convenient, like the lie, is not the right thing. They are currently not waiting for safety standards. No, they're not interested in safety standards because the people are not interested enough themselves. This is how it works. Insufficient are making enough fuss over it. So they just continue to roll it out. Thankfully, over the last few years, people have become aware of the chemtrails. on the vaccines and Monsanto but you have to keep the pressure on day after day after day and stop them is the committee requiring all forthcoming tech to be beneficial to humans a proposal or is it reality It depends which system you're talking about. This one or the new one. Is it time for the rats at the Vatican to pay for the genocide that have caused worldwide for many years? I suggest the publishing of their names and ranks in every country and in higher mercenaries to dispose of them once and for all. 
thou shalt not kill except in justification of other deaths I understand that um, I can't say too much more on that you get into trouble <laughs> uh, not just the Vatican it's a collective the Asians are just as bad the dragon groups the Nazis the Vatican is less of a problem in the US anymore they got shut out by the Zionists and Nazis doesn't mean to say that they've gone away they're just not as big a problem here as they were but focusing on just them being the issue is narrowing your field of view we can't afford to keep doing that that's when if too many focus on let's get rid of the Vatican this is when they play their sleight of hand and then fund another group you have to focus on them all Um, was Trump compromised using blackmail yes doesn't mean to say he had to follow it though did he how is the RV coming along um, fantastic it's failed a thousand and one times apparently they're going to try again next week and we'll be back next Thursday with more information. Ding dongs. Do all humans have more, more gallons? No. Is it artificial organism, organism which is part of the transhuman agenda? It can be. Thomas have you given any thoughts as to what you're going to say to announce the fact that we finally won and at last um, many times uh, not as much this week it's not been a good week but this is part of the bumpy ride that was warned of you know some weeks will be up and some weeks will be down um, the frustration is is not how more are not involved than they are that's the frustration and um, like I said I said it three times tonight if we put as much effort in as they do we can end this a lot sooner I would hate to think we're going to wait for all out war before we decide to actually have the balls to do something uh, with regards to the sovereignty question um, I'm going to avoid mentioning that tonight for various reasons eventually we will do a show to do with that but given that um, the people are under and have been under gunfire this week um, we need to play that down as things stand so apologies for not answering those questions but I hope you understand it but eventually we will do a full on show explaining the whole details we may just do a one off show all about that and what it is and why but things are dangerous at the moment uh, the US dropped largest non-nuclear bomb on Afghanistan first time used in combat was this move in favour of the people or the wannabe in powers the latter um, where are we for time yes we all want some hope Victoria I do understand that me included it's frustrating um, 
Okay, uh, question. Can we quit being calm now that things have started to heat up on the global scene? I'm sick and tired of these efforts messing around with humanity. I've got some ideas and I think it might work in lighting a fire under people's asses who've been sitting on the sidelines. I mean, seriously, I'll take anything other than this sitting around while a psychopath steamroller everyone and everything. Isn't it time for us to fight back in a larger collective self sense rather than relying on the behind the scenes people? It wasn't really a question, it was more of a statement and it's one I 100% agree with. Thank you. Um, opinion on Andrew Passaggio, I think I've mentioned this before. I can't verify what he's saying on his time travel or the Mars jumping or the Obama was a part of it. What I do know is if the Cabal have had clones for 40 years plus why would he send humans to Mars? Something to ponder. Um, I don't understand that question. How will? With the poisons forced on society, how will, I presume that you meant we physically, will we physically survive waiting for miracles? People are dying now. Yes, there are. Lots of people are dying and unfortunately lots of people are not caring enough not necessarily the people who listen to this show I'm talking about the, the other clans who just ignore everything the amnesiacs is the dying off of populations the cleaning up of karma no, just genocide and harvesting Uh, is there going to be an organisation of enlightened people to congregate to a special area? How can we organise this for the community farming, herbal medicine therapy, spiritual movements? Well, if that's what your particular field of interest, um, it would be nice if you could come up with that. It may get used in the future. Something to put your mind to. You know, um, we have lots of clever people in that group. You know, um, saw some of the paintings of Manal and Brannan. You know, extraordinary things. Uh, talent. You know, people should use their interests and talents in a in a fitting way that changes the way the current thinking and mindset and operation of things is going I can come up with a load of ideas that's what I've always been good at people mention a problem I come up with five or six solutions off the top of my head but I can't be expected to answer for everything and neither should I this is a collective thing and if that's what you're trying to envisage or manifest and perhaps you should spend some time documenting it you know if you never know in the future that plan that you've set out or that vision may come to fruition Thomas, the entity known as Christ has been a theme in recent shows. Do you think it's possible his return is near? Um, I hope not. As you get home again. Um, is that spirit amongst us right now? It's amongst all of us. It's part of all of us do the right thing 
fight back. Those puss up with what you're tolerating. That was the message. Do we continue to ignore that message? The question then would remain is why should people and beings incarnate into here at great cost to themselves when the majority ignore the message? He was ignored a thousand years ago and he paid for it with his life. He was ignored 500 years ago and they paid for it with their lives. There may be people delivering that message that may be familiar. They may not be. Amongst us, would we recognise it? If Jesus was here today, would you recognise him? I'm not talking visually. I'm talking about the message. Would you recognise it? And then, would that make a difference? Or is it, well, Jesus is here now. He's going to save us. Is he? Should he? Or are you going to support and live up to that message? That's the real question. But the idea that he died to save us all for our sins is bullshittery. He died because of apathy. And to me, insane cosmic laws where one side can break every rule under the sun and the other has to play by cosmic law as Radomir said I didn't come here in peace I came here with a sword came to fight and we've lost the ability to fight doesn't mean firing necessarily firing guns Gandhi and his people never fired guns they just downed tools we're not playing your game anymore That's what it takes. Sacrifice. Not necessarily your lives, but your time. Uh, where are we? Uh, Near death experiences, there are many reports of them. And for the most part, the stories are somewhat similar. Can you tell us what is actually going on? It's a departing of the soul or the spirit. Some can see, some can't. Not everyone has the experience of viewing through the eyes of the spirit or the soul. that can relate back to the vessel but it is real it has been photographed yes I know there's a lot of clever uh, CGI's and you can't believe it any video or camera these days with the programs and software they can do with it there's been enough documented evidence 
to suggest it's real. People have, have described what took place in operations while they've been out. They were watching it above the surgeons. So it is real. And so basically uh, the spirit being able to leave the vessel maybe at a time to protect itself. but also the vessel being able to record what the spirit is viewing which is not always the case of course many people also can record some of the dream which is the same thing if you remember parts of your dream it's the same, exactly the same thing. You're viewing it through the spirit, the spirit eyes. It's not you that's trapped. It's the spirit soul. Uh, is there anything we can do to speed up the ending of the toxic chemtrails? We're referring to do to them as geoengineering help. Um, you can try um, quite why people choose to ignore them is um, well, it's frustrating for us all not just me it's it's, um, it's a mind boggling experience watching people just shrug their shoulders and roll their eyes <laughs> and you're going hello McFly you're being poisoned <laughs> Oh, I've got a text message. Bye. It's the height of insanity. The council have, and others have offered some help. Some of the chemtrails are being negated. Some of the chemtrails are part of the cure, as I understand it which one's which I do not know that's what I've been told have you heard of a planted hybrid of extreme intelligence and mental capabilities whose loyalties are not to humans and that is planned to deceptively fill humanity's coming of a messiah expectations well, in essence, um, the Messiah uh, would be an illusion. It would likely be part of the blue beam bullshittery. They can produce clones that can look like who you perceive the entity not known as Jesus to be, or who you perceive Allah will look like. it's all an illusion but yes we have hybrids uh, running amok and playing games not as much as they used to be mind you right I think uh, that's enough um, I'm not going to apologise for it being a more pessimistic show tonight because it is what it is I've said I will call it as it is and you can't ignore the world events that are ongoing and think everything is hunky dory when clearly it's not that's part of the inconvenient lie again that's too easy to follow I've said I will call it as it is I give Trump Mr Trump Cyclops President more license he's chosen to trample over that license and hook up with Nazis and Zionists and think it's okay to um, bomb people into oblivion under the name of being an, an American 
Not to me, you know, Mr. Trump. Not to me, you know. If you lead life in love and care, you will prevail. If you lead life in fear and anger, you will fail. Feel free for you to be the person you wish to be, not the person who conforms to what others want them to be. You are a multi-dimensional being operating simultaneously on many levels. You are not here to conform. You got that? You're not here to be stifled. You got that? You are not here to be enslaved. Loud and clear. And you are not here to be abused. Period. Or to compete with your friends, family or neighbours. You are here to be the best you can be and do so as the crown of creation. Remember it. Now go out with the confidence of who and what you are and, in, and excel in yourself and in doing so inspire others. My name's Thomas Williams. Remember, my name is also human.